This is a gulper eel equipped with a large scoop-like jaw. This deep sea fish was first named after a pelican. But, but as researchers learn more about it, they changed the name to a gulper eel, which sums up the fish's ability to expand its throat and stomach to accommodate food. Um, when it encounters prey, this fish blows up its mouth to impressive dimensions, creating a massive net that can scoop up a squid or a swarm of shrimp. Its balloon-like capacity is a helpful adaptation for an opportunistic eater. The tiny teeth that line its jaw certainly wouldn't be up to the jaw alone. Despite the size of its mouth, it isn't a particularly athletic hunter. It has extremely small eyes compared to other denizens of the deep. Um, instead, the pelican eel uses a pink light on its rear fins to lure in its next meal. It's also not much of a simmer, swimmer. With a whip-like tail and a lack of pelvic fins, swim bladders, and scales, it's not built for going long distances. It doesn't go to the surface uh, like other deep sea uh, fish. Uh, while it drifts around in the deep, the pelican eel puts much of its spare energy into finding a mate. Uh, blank mature males grow large whole factory organs in order to sniff out females while simultaneously losing their teeth. Well, that's uh, accurate. Uh, the mouth of the fish acts like a net as it swims into large groups of small fish and shrimp. Their wide open mouth fills with food as well as water. The water is slowly released through the gills. Uh, since these creatures' eyes are so small, the expert opinion is that their eyes are meant for detection of lights. Uh, rather than the formation of images. It has a tiny light-producing organ at the tip of its tail that, you know, it uses to attract its prey, that it, and that is called a photophore. It is said that males have bigger eyes and olfactory organs as compared to females who do not change much as they become uh, mature is with the help of these organs, the males sense the pheromones released by the e females. And it is also said that after reproduction, the gulper earls 